back to my channel once again it's your girl Sperry. if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe right down below you're welcome and also join the family and if you're not new thanks for sticking out with your girl so in today's video we are going to achieve this curly hair i've had this hair for about a year now and we decided to bring it back to life baby okay so without further ado let's just get straight into the video before you go please go ahead hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a video okay Alright, let's get into the video. So in this video, I'll be using a deep curly 4x4 HD lace hair. I've had this wig for a while now and I'm trying to bring it back to life and I believe it actually came back to life. What I'm going to do right now is just put back my hair and my edges and I'm using Echo Gel Styler to help me with that. How is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing good. How is your day going? You can go ahead and let me know in the comment box how your day is going. So I'm making sure the hair is really sleeked back. Next I'm going to use the got to be glue spray to spray on it and then brush it back so that it holds and next I'm gonna use the blow dryer to just blow dry it so that it stays in place and basically it won't move so I'm using this brown um, wig cap that I also got from Amazon it will be linked down below if you want to purchase it I got a pack and I think it's about 50 pieces in them so that's what I'm using so next I'm going to use my got to be glue spray and then once it gets tacky I'm going to spray another layer on it and then after it gets another tacky I'm going to put the wig on it and then basically also glue it down again with the got to be glue spray just a little bit to melt the wig cap on my skin. This is to make sure the wig stays in place and to take this wig off all you need is a water you just need to spray some water on a cotton pad or a cloth and then just rub it off on the wig cap or just rub it off on your skin. So next we're going to try to make some baby hairs. I pull down just a little bit of hair on each side as I said in my other last hair video. I told you guys I was going to try this side. Um, baby hairs and that's what we're doing over here. I didn't do well with the plucking. I'm gonna do better next time I only realized that whilst I was trying to lay the baby hairs down But um, it was just like too late to go back to do it. It wasn't too late I didn't feel like doing it. So I just left it there, but afterwards I brushed my hair I combed my hair out to get all tangles or extra um, not in it out and then once it gets into its puffiness yeah do y'all see how light it is down here but over here i think to about this length it's kind of filled and i love like puffy hair i love filled hair but i don't like the fact that it's kind of light down here but we want to see how it's going to turn out i'm going to use this lot of body oil olive oil and mix it with this So I mix the Lora Body Olive Oil with some water just to get the hair like you know um, still in a good shape because it has olive oil and it's to, to still be moist. So the Lora Body with Olive Oil and water serves to me as a conditioner because it keeps the hair really soft. The hair is already soft but it just tries to keep the moisture in it and also it gives it a shine it's also a setting spray you can use it like at the end of your style what i do is i spray that on top of my hair and then i comb my hair out to flatten the top part of my hair a little bit because so the steam that you see is as a result of the mixture in the hot comb there isn't anything dangerous going on 
So next all I do is just spray a whole bunch of water on my hair and then I rub my fingers through it so it gets to the consistency that I want it to get to so I can see the curls and basically um, just it's shrinking as well. Alright, so I just want to share this real quick. If you ever feel you're incompetent or you're not worthy, just remember the story of Moses, Joseph, and David. David was the least among his siblings, but he was the one that God chose and so was Joseph as well. So whatever it is that you're doing or that makes you doubt yourself, remember God uses the less to make more. So as I do this, I also try to separate the curls a little bit and as you can see, that's the difference. The next thing I use is the mousse and the mousse helps the curls to pop up and stay in place. Next, I'm gonna use my wax stick to make sure any flyaway hairs is lying down by passing the hot comb over it after putting on the wax stick. And everything that I'm using in this video will be linked down in the description box so that if you wanna check it out or buy it, you can always do that. So now we're gonna take care of the baby hairs. I just trimmed it and then I put it back in place with some help of gel. The next thing I do is I also get some gel and then rub it through the hair so that it also helps it stay in place. But I don't use too much because I don't want the hair to be very crunchy when it gets dried up. So I just use just a little bit and then I rub it, my fingers through the hair. Once the hair is all done, you can see that it's staying in place, it's not moving anywhere and I did not use any glue, it was all just got to be glue spray. So. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video and you've not already liked it, like what are you waiting for? If you made it this far, why haven't you liked the video? Why are you not subscribed? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> All right, y'all, go ahead, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a like, and also comment down below if you're a fan of curly hair or you're a fan of straight hair. Let me know. All right, y'all, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye. They told you that you couldn't do it cause you washed up. Ain't like them bad girls that you should get